In this video, I'm gonna break down and go over the details on how to do the outside part of the above ground pool wiring. So we'll start with the pool pump twist lock outlet and the convenience outlet here. Um, this was at proper height when it was inspected uh, and there were bubble covers on there, but we put so much material building this pole barn, uh, it raised it. So I do have to raise this and extend everything. But uh, just for explanation, we're using a weatherproof box on either side. Uh, we have half inch car flex here with two half inch car flex 90 connectors to get the wire from this box to this box. We have a weatherproof box on either side with a deep bubble cover on either side. This is the convenience outlet. This is the twist lock outlet. And this is the twist lock plug. Uh, basically works the same as a straight blade except the configuration is different and it slides into the matching configuration and then twists to lock it into place. But it gets wired up exactly the same. I'll just go over it real quick right here. Uh, so these are four wire twist locks. Um, this particular uh, uses a three wire and generally your cord cap on your pool pump is going to be pre-installed on there. But as far as the outlet itself goes, this is almost the same as the uh, outlet here, just different configuration. Um, for the blades to plug in. And the out, um, the wiring for it is basically the same as a receptacle. Uh, again, this has uh, two hots because it's a four wire, um, but you basically wire it the same as the receptacle. The green is the ground, the silver is the neutral, the golds are the hots. And uh, on this particular one, you would strip it and slide it through and it would press down. Other ones like the outlet here, um, the, we never backstab through the back unless it has a clamp to tighten because that's can come loose. Uh, but this one will have the uh, screws sticking out a little bit. I don't have an outlet with me, but you would just do the hook uh, where you hook it around, you know, and it loops over. And you always have your hoop going this way. That way, when you tighten it, it pulls it into it because you don't want it that way because when you tighten it, it's going to pull it out. So that's basically uh, the basic wiring. Here's an outlet just for quick reference. You can kind of see how the, the terminals are a little different than the twist lock, but essentially, essentially the same. And different outlets and different twist locks can be, can be slightly different. The weatherproof boxes basically just have threaded holes to get the wires in and out and then little tabs that screw to the end here so that you can mount it. You can kind of see there. That way you're uh, not putting a hole in the box and you can caulk around it and keep it sealed. Um, you want to go with the deep bubble cover so you have space for your plug and uh, basically has the gasket to keep it sealed. And then it has different little inserts for depending on what you're going to be putting it in. And bubble cover will clip on here. If it's opening this way um, and then tabs here for the other direction and like I said these just drop in for whatever you're gonna be using thanks for watching I hope this video helped you out if you have any questions please let me know in the comments I'll do my best to answer them if you like this video or helped you out please like the video uh, subscribe to my channel and as always thanks for watching I appreciate it guys